of today's CBS Television Network programs are recorded earlier in the day for broadcast in this time zone. Well, I'm glad you called. Goodbye. A call wasn't for me. No. No, it was Julian at the hospital. You and Joe had hoped that Mary might come out of the coma again, but she hasn't. Rain. I thought perhaps that was Ed on the phone, saying that he'd been delayed. Is he coming over now? Yeah. What am I going to say to him? How do I tell him that his daughter tried to murder me? Vicky is a very disturbed girl. Surely you can make him understand that. Okay, Ed, there's never been a reasonable man where Vicky's concerned. And how I'm gonna get through to it. Okay. Let's get the formalities. Where's Michael? Ed. What have you done to my daughter now? Ed, just calm down, listen to me for a minute. Vicky is very sick. And she's been put in the hospital for observation. There's nothing wrong with my daughter. You've all been trying to drive her crazy. Ed, you don't know the facts. I don't want to know the facts. All I want is her out of there. You've all had it in for ever since the first minute she stepped into this house. Now you've really gone and done it. Ed! Okay. Why don't you go upstairs? I'll try to explain. I'm not interested in any more explanations. No one's going to pull the wool over my eyes. I want you to sit down. I don't want to sit down. Tell me what happened. Vicky tried to kill Mary. What? She pushed her down those stairs. Deliberately. Because she wanted to kill her. And kill the baby. That's a lie. Vicky has admitted it. Because you've tricked her into it. Please, Ed. Try to understand. She is mentally disturbed. She planned it. She wants Mary dead. This is another one of your stinking schemes. You are lying. <laughs> I wish I were, then Mary wouldn't be in the hospital. Vicky is a very sick girl. I don't believe it. Ed, she's dangerously psychotic. She's going to have to be committed to a hospital. No. I won't let her. Well, she tried to murder Mary. What more does it take to convince you? Michael, I don't trust you, and I don't believe you. I want to see Vicky. Now, where is she? She's at the Rollins Mental Clinic. How could you put her in a place like that? What are you doing here? I mean, why aren't you there with her? There doesn't seem to be very much that I can do for her now. Oh, you have never done anything for her but cause her trouble. She's in a wheelchair because of you, and now you've put her in the hospital. You never cared what happened to her. Uh -uh. I'm the only one that loves Vicky. Well, I'm going to go right over there and take care of everything. I'll find out what's been going on around here. You and your rotten lies. Ed. I'm going to make you pay for this, Michael. Get you out of here, don't you worry about a thing. 
they hate you and they should thank me. They just don't understand. I know, I know, I know, honey. My poor little girl. I'll fix everything. You're so evil. She deserves to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, did she die yet? Love me anymore. 